Number 10. When James Madison took office, he became the shortest president, and despite being succeeded by 41 men, he remains the shortest. Madison stood at only 5 feet 4 inches and never weighed over 100 pounds. The average height and weight for presidents is 5'11 and 182 pounds. Even the second and third shortest presidents, Martin Van Buren and Benjamin Harrison, stood two inches taller than Madison. Number 9. In college, Madison was an incredibly attentive student. He didn't spend his time partying or socializing, but instead used almost every minute to study. He only slept five hours a night, and as a result, completed a four-year course in two and a half years. It also, however, took a toll on his health, as he was described as pale, sickly, and feeble, and he ultimately had to return home. Number 8. In the battle over state versus federal power, James Madison sided with Thomas Jefferson and James Monroe in favoring states' rights. While these were always his ideals, he witnessed how weak the federal government was during the war and was convinced the government needed to be stronger. Thus, he worked with Federalists such as Alexander Hamilton to father the Constitution. Number 7. On slavery, Madison was also similar to Jefferson. He was a Virginia-born plantation owner and owned over 100 slaves over his life. He spoke against the international slave trade and once wrote, quote, Where slavery exists, the Republican theory becomes still more fallacious. However, like Jefferson and unlike Washington, he didn't free any slaves in his lifetime nor in his will. Compared to Jefferson, he didn't speak on slavery as often and actively opposed attempts to restrict its domestic expansion. Number 6. Madison was introverted, shy, and cautious. His slave, Paul Jennings, said he dressed wholly in black, neat but never extravagant, and never had more than one suit at a time. He and Alexander Hamilton made for an odd couple. For a few years, the two would take almost daily walks around Philadelphia. This earned them the nickname, the Peacock and the Crow. While also small in stature, Hamilton, in contrast to Madison, dressed flamboyantly and in personality was outspoken, witty, and overbearing. Number 5. Unlike Washington and Jefferson, Madison doesn't appear on any commonly used currencies. However, he does appear on the $5,000 bill. Other figures on high denomination currencies include William McKinley on the $500 bill, Grover Cleveland on the $1,000, and Abraham Lincoln Secretary of the Treasury Salmon P. Chase on the $10,000. Though still legal, no new high denomination bills have been printed since 1945. Upon being returned to the bank, these bills are destroyed, and currently, there are only 342 $5,000 bills left. Number 4. Madison's wife, Dolly, is one of the most highly regarded first ladies. Outgoing, talkative, and fashionable, she effectively made up for the dour dress and introversion of her husband. Her social graces helped ease political tensions, and her furnishing of the White House helped give it a higher sense of prestige. Dolly was so popular that even after her husband's death and into her 70s, she remained a beloved figure in Washington. Number 3. Prior to becoming president himself, Madison served as Jefferson's Secretary of State for both terms. He was the second Secretary of State to go on to the presidency, the first being Jefferson, who'd served under Washington. Three of the next four presidents, James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, and Martin Van Buren, had served as Secretary of State, and it was actually the best path to the presidency in these years. However, since 15th President James Buchanan, no Secretary of State has ascended to the presidency. Number 2. Madison was the first of six presidents named James. The others were James Monroe, James K. Polk, James Buchanan, James A. Garfield, and James Earl Carter, better known as Jimmy Carter. It's the most common first name among United States presidents. Number 1. James Madison died on June 28, 1836, at age 85. He's the eighth longest-lived president, impressive considering his sickly and frail appearance along with his habit of overworking, a habit he kept up into old age. 
His longevity might have simply been down to genetics, as his mother also had a long life, dying only seven years before her son at age 98. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and donating on Patreon. Donations from 2 to $15 a month help towards more frequent uploads. Patreon link in the description below.